McCartney, right after these messages. In the vanilla sky. Soulmates. Donuts. If you haven't seen Paul McCartney in concert yet, you're getting another chance. It's been 10 years since Sir Paul hit the road, but on April 1st, he embarks on a two-month American tour called Driving USA. And if that's not enough, he's also been nominated for an Academy Award for his song, Vanilla Sky. Sir Paul McCartney, good morning or good afternoon in your case. How are you? Fine, thanks, Katie. Nice to see you. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you fine. Thanks. I know that you're going to be kicking off your tour, as I said, on April 1st in Oakland, California. You're going to be traveling until mid-May, hitting every major city from Vegas to Cleveland. What made you want to do this now? Um, I just like to do it, you know. It's one of those things. Every so often I come out of hibernation <laughs> and get on the road. After I did uh, the Madison Square Garden concert, I just thought, you know what, I like this, this is what I do, let's do a bit more of it. And in fact, you were very visible, Paul, after the events of September 11th, and, and you were very generous in, in performing at that concert for New York, which benefited firefighters, police officers, emergency workers, and their families. Did that somehow inspire you to say, hey, I, I'm really enjoying this, and I'd like to do more of it? Yeah, that's what it was, really. Um, I did the concert because we had to, you know, we, we felt hopeless, and uh, we were in New York at the time, and just felt, got to do something. You know, like a lot of people felt, how can I help? So we did it uh, for that reason, and it was just so great to look out over that sea of firefighters, and just see the emotion, and just feel the audience there, and I thought, I could get into this. I, I could do this for a living. <laughs> As we listened to you performing at the Cavern Club in Liverpool a couple of years back, I just want to ask you about your, your playlist during this concert. A lot of fans are going to wonder, gee, you know, he's got such a huge body of work. What are we going to be hearing? And I understand you're really going to be doing something for everyone from really every period of your musical career. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. You know, as you say, um, I've written a lot of songs, and I like to try and represent uh, something for everybody. Also, it keeps it kind of fresh for me, rather than just doing the rock and roll, rather than just doing the Beatles stuff or the Wings stuff. I like to do some of the new album, Driving Rain, too, which is uh, going to be nice to do live. Meanwhile, Paul, I have to ask you about your Oscar nomination, which is pretty exciting. You've been nominated for an Oscar for Vanilla Sky. I know you were nominated once before in 1973 for Live and Let Die. Can you tell me about um, how this song came about? Because I understand for uh, director, producer, writer Cameron Crowe, uh, to whom you are a god, he basically approached you and asked you to write something for the movie, right? That's right. We were in L.A. recording uh, the album Driving Rain, and he came over to the studio and said, hey, I've got this film going, you know, would you consider uh, let me use some of your music. So we played him some music, and he was going to use some of that. But then he finally said, you know, I really would like this to be a title song. I said, uh, what's the title, you know? Because sometimes those titles you just can't write to. He said, Vanilla Sky. I said, Vanilla Sky, Fly, Hi, Goodbye. And, you know, so I suddenly thought, let me have a shot at it. And I, I was feeling good, and I came up with something in a couple of days that he liked. So... Uh, it went very well, you know, and he's a nice guy. He so is a nice guy, film, isn't he? So. I think he's a great guy. Let's listen, let's take a quick listen to Vanilla Sky. The chef prepares a special menu for your delight, oh my. Tonight you fly so high up in the vanilla sky. This is your time. This is your day. Got it all. Don't I understand you told Cameron of Paul that if he didn't like it, it would be okay, that it wouldn't hurt your feelings, you just might release it and call it Manila Envelope or something, right? <laughs> exactly. I said, I'm warning you, boy, you know, you turn this down, it's, the title's changing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you about the Oscars. Are you planning to attend? Yeah, I'm hoping to, yeah. I'm quite excited about it. It's a big, big deal. Yeah, and will you per be performing? I guess that's up in the air right now. Yeah, they've asked me to. You know, uh, at that second, I'll be in mad rehearsal for our tour, which we go out kind of a day or so after the Oscars. So um, 
I'm hoping it's not too frantic with the tour, but if everything goes well, yeah, I'll be there. Paul, on a, on a sad note, I know it was about three months ago that uh, you lost your good friend, someone you considered a baby brother, George Harrison. Um, that must have been a, mm. a, a very, very sad time for you. Yeah, it was, you know. Um, I'd known George forever. Uh, he was my little mate who used to get on the bus and we used to ride into school together for about half an hour talking about guitars and uh, rock and roll and stuff. So, you know, I'd known George longer than anyone in the group, actually. Um, so it was very sad, you know. It, it's always sad to see a dear friend go. Someone like George was younger than me. It was very sad for him, obviously, for his wife and son. Um, so it was a very sad time for all of us. Um, and he'd be sorely missed but by everyone, you know. So many people love that man. On a happier note, I want to congratulate you on your engagement to Heather Mills. Um, are you all planning on, on being wed soon? Yeah, we are actually. Sometime in the summer, we've uh, got a few things to do before, like an American tour. But um, after that, uh, you know, sometime in the summer, we're going to get married. Well, we're all very happy for you, Paul, and we really appreciate your talking with us this morning. Good luck on the tour. Maybe we'll see you when you hit the road. And good luck at the Oscars as well. Thank you very much, Katie. I'll tell you what, one quick thing. Rob says hi. He loves you. It's a friend of mine in New York called Rob. He loves you, Katie. Oh, he does? Bye. Well, you tell him I said hi, too. <laughs> whoever Rob is. Okay. Okay. Sir Paul uh, McCartney, thanks again. And we'll be back with more of today, right after this. The chef prepares a special menu for your delight. Oh, 